today, the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to help them out fight off a dangerous zombie apocalypse that's going on in a different dimension. So let's go speak to the villagers and let's go see how we can help. Instantly, I did notice the dimension portal is completely spherical. So I have a feeling we're gonna go later on to the circular world. So let me go ahead and speak to this villager and let's go see how we can help. Hello Naveed, we are so glad you have arrived. In our sphere dimension, there is a giant zombie apocalypse demolishing this village. Quickly, build a bunker and get the weapons to defend our village. Yep, I think that's great. Well guys, let me go ahead and take out every single one of these items and hopefully we can use it to build a quick bunker and then we can fight off a dangerous circular zombie apocalypse. Well guys, let's go ahead and start building in this little place they've gone ahead and given us and hopefully we should be able to build this as fast as we can. But guys, before we do anything else, I do want to give a shout out to Nyx as well as Kartik for being members of this wonderful channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead Press the join button below and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well guys, Aww. the majority of you aren't subscribed yet, so head down below as well press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. Well, I think we should be able to go ahead and do a wonderful job for these villagers if they just give us a couple minutes. Aww. I do think this bunker should be able to fit everyone inside even though they've only given us a single bed, which could be a bit of a problem. But I am actually really thankful that the villagers are taking their time to call us out and to get them started with this wonderful job. I'm going to put the front door right here and perfect as well as a couple glass layers right around here which I think is going to be perfect and good and let me go ahead and fill up this layer with more glass. I want to make sure we're able to see out as well as the portal and then to spot any zombies that could be coming near. Well guys I think we're doing an amazing job. Let's make sure not to misplace any items that could easily be tricked by evil zombies. And after this layer, I could go ahead and just do two more. So let me just go ahead and try this. I'm going to do one layer up and then another layer for the roof. And then we should be finished. Well, I don't want to add a second floor, which I don't think is needed. And then afterwards, we can ask the villagers if they want to keep it. If they don't want to keep it, we can go ahead and use some TNTs on it to blow it up. I think that'd be great. Perfect and good. And there we go. I think we've almost finished. Well, then we just go ahead, finish off these couple layers, and we should be done. Villagers, have you got everything set for the portal run? I'm a little bit worried that this vehicle dimension could have some circular mobs in them. So we could easily get killed if we aren't careful. Let me go ahead, make sure to finish off, and perfect. And let me just finally do the roof, and then we can go ahead and jump in the portal. This is going to be so crazy. I'm actually really glad the villagers have given us every single item we need because normally we have to find them ourselves, which takes such a long time. Perfect and good. And there we go. I think we've almost done it. Perfect. Well, guys, it looks awesome. Let me quickly just add some furniture scattered all the way around. And perfect. And let's make sure we have all the items we need. So I'm going to take out the rest of these items. And perfect. Let me add the bedside cabinets right around here with the two lamps. And good. And then the sofa on this side, just in case some villagers want to have a look at what's going on outside. Well, guys, let's go and do this. I'm going to go ahead, close this door, throw in the items we won't be needing anymore. Let's take out our swords and let's put on our armors. Villager, I'm ready. Let me put on my iron set. And good. And let's jump inside this portal. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. I think it worked. Yes! <laughs> Our whole world has gone ahead and turned into spears. But looking down, I can see almost all the way until nothing. But I'm a little bit worried that the villagers now look absolutely crazy. But looking around, I do see that we have everything still in the same place. Just now is a little bit circular. I'm actually kind of glad the only items that are circular in here is the bed and everything else is pretty much the same. Well, guys, I think we should go ahead and prepare for this wonderful battle against all of these evil zombies. If not, they could pretty much roll us down a hill and fight us off. Villagers, don't you worry. I'll go ahead and fix this. But looking around, I think everything looks pretty cool. Thankfully as well, the water is still still square which is pretty decent but everything else looking around is pretty much circular well guys let me go ahead get the villagers to enter our bunker and hopefully it'll become nighttime very soon where we should be able to keep us safe well guys let's go and do this i'm totally ready 
But looking around, actually, everything looks exactly the same. I didn't even realize this was the bunker. Well, let's close this door and let's go and do this. Guys, it started. I can start to hear some zombies everywhere. Ah, okay, that was pretty close. So we have zombie chefs wandering around the village as well as disco ones. And we also have some normal zombies as well. Ah, there's little baby disco zombies. Well, let's keep on destroying them and hopefully we should be able to do this. I need to save my village. And right around here we have a king zombie, which is pretty insane right now. Let me go ahead, finish off these evil mobs, and perfect, and let's go and do this. We also have a night zombie with the king zombie keeping each other safe. Thankfully though, so far we've survived such a crazy night, but I don't think there's going to be many more of these mobs lying around. Let's keep going. I'm perfect! We're doing it! But I gotta make sure to stay strong because there's so many of these monsters lying around trying to finish everything off. Perfect and good. Now I can also hear a spider! Ah! <laughs> it's the most circular spider I've ever seen. Well, we still haven't finished. I think there's more zombies scattered all the way around. Let's go and finish this off. Perfect! And good, and there we go. Hopefully they'll go ahead and give us some of their rare armors. Ah, oh, and there's a creeper. Let's make sure to finish them off before they blow up. <laughs> yes, we've done it. Well, guys, so far we've done a great job, but I can see there are still so many mobs around, which is not going to be good for us. The villager is still out and about, which can't be good. Let's go ahead, finish off these evil mobs, and perfect. And I think now we should be ready to go ahead and fight off the next zombie apocalypse. So far, this first wave has been pretty simple. Not too hard and not too many different types of mobs. But hopefully the next few should be a little bit different. Well, guys, let me jump inside my bunker and let's go get ready for the next wave. I am totally ready for this. Perfect. Guys, be really quiet. The next wave is right outside. So let me go ahead and fight them off. I'm perfect. The blades are going ahead and destroying them. Yes, this is working on our favor. So we have a nether zombie as well as a zombie miner fighting with some skeletons as well as a zombie pirate. I haven't seen these in such a long time. And we also have zombie creepers roaming around the village. No wonder the villagers are trying their hardest to go ahead and get us to help. But let's go see what the Enderman looks like. Cool! <laughs> he looks pretty circular, but I want to make sure we don't antagonize him. There he goes! I'm perfect! I can't believe these zombie miners and these nether zombies are pretty much fighting together to end this world. Okay, this is pretty insane. I've got to make sure to save as many of our friends as possible. So far, I think we've cleared off the bigger portion, and there should only be a couple of them left scattered around. And then we can head back to the real dimension and tell them the great news. We've basically saved every single villager. Well, I think so far we've finished every single one off, and the only ones that are left are the random ones that spawn around. Okay, I think we're good. I think we've gone ahead and pretty much finished the majority of this apocalypse. But I have just noticed there's another nether zombie right around here, and I think we're done. Well, guys, I'm going to head through the nether portal and let's go and do this. Let's head back to the real world. This should be great. Here we go. Jump in and then out the other side. Yes, we've done it. Okay, let's go see the damage. Do you know what? This whole village looks completely different in a spherical world. Well, let me go ahead and check. Yeah, this is where I couldn't really figure out what was going on, but I can still see there's a couple of zombies left that we have to go ahead and finish. Well, guys, I think we've done it. We have pretty much saved this whole village from these evil mobs, and the only ones left are pretty much the smaller ones. So I think we've done a great job. So I'm going to hide out inside this house until daytime, and hopefully we can just hang out on this sofa and enjoy it until we are completely safe. Well, guys, I will see you soon another crazy Minecraft video, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.